Hey gang, Diana here today. I'm sorry if there's background noise, but I have my my AC on up here. And it got hot all of a sudden. I wanted to swatch out this uh, brand new Prima Tech color uh, that I I got. It's um, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. So this is actually mined in the Sleeping Beauty Mountains in Arizona. It blows my mind. It really does. And it is... I wanted to show you the difference between a Cobalt Teal or PG50 and the Sleeping Beauty Violet, I mean Turquoise. It's a... We'll have a better look at it uh, when I swatch it out, but it's a gentler sort of turquoise and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it mixes with some other colors. I've put it on my palette right here. I'm going to show you this palette, but you can hardly see it. Um, so that's it right there on my palette, and I'm just going to add it to my palette map right here. Painting's not great with this <laughs> this brace on, but um, I can do this kind of thing. So I'm, I didn't see a lot of granulation with this, um, maybe some, but uh, that's okay. Uh, the Primatech, I, I don't think they all granulate. Uh, I guess it just depends on the mineral. It's, it's a fantastic color. And I really like this. I love cobalt teal, and I'm sure I'll enjoy this little bit um, grayer, softer. So this is the Sleeping Beauty. Just write that in. And I'm going to make a primary palette from this. The other two colors I'm going to use for this tri primary triad with the Sleeping Beauty are the uh, Daniel Smith Hansa Yellow Medium, which is PY97, and the Quinn Coral, also from Daniel Smith, PR209. I'm just whimsically doing this. There's no real rhyme or reason to why I want to use these colors. I'm absolutely crazy about this coral color. Love it, love it. I'm looking at this going, thinking to myself, this would be a nice mix too, the New Gamboge and also the Nickel Azo. Uh, so let's let's give this a whirl here. So my since my since my turquoise is nice and wet here since I just added it to my palette. I'll just, um, let me see, what do I want to do? I want to make a box here for the turquoise and then I want to make some more boxes. Um, let's see, I'll put the turquoise over here and it'll be, I've been putting things in my little book. I've been making up, um, I've been putting the, the color that I am working with in the up, the upper right corner so that I can use it. Then other things are palettes. I'm going to organize this at some point, but it it's not that full yet. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. And yeah, my camera's on, just checked. The color is um, right out of the tube. It seems pretty soft and nice. Um, that's a lot darker. It's been sitting in some water for a while, so that is a lot darker than here. So I'm just going to add this more mass tone. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I see what happens if it granulates anymore. Okay, so we have, let's put in the Quinn. Look at that color. It just it's like the happiest color in my life. Okay, still need to go on to another one. And again, that Hansa yellow, mostly frankly, because it was sitting in my 
one of my porcelain mixing dishes and I'm finding ooh that's gonna be a that's gonna be fantastic together. Oh and now uh, let's get that sleep, sleeping beauty turquoise. Talk about your marketing. But that's actually the the, the name of the mountain, so how do they find this stuff out? It's just fascinating. Let me make sure you guys can see this. And you know what? Just so you can see it, I'm going to put some of this in a in a dish. Okay. All right. Now, let's just pull out. This palette came with this sponge, and I can't find the sponge. And I'm sure it would be handy, but I can't find it. So that's life, right? I'm cleaning my brush in dirty water and then clean water before um, going in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to like that. It's um, a nice sort of muted lavender color. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, the, the, the lavenders um, like this are really great for shadow work. Uh, if you're painting something that is purple or... Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's move on here so this video isn't a hundred million years long. Yeah, make it a nice green here. Need a little more of that sleeping beauty. Nice green. Grassy green, really. And I'm working more with a glaze of color today. You can, this wasn't a glaze, but this is because this first layer of paint is dry. And this is a way that I do like to work. I will mix on the palette, but um, glazing is, is a really nice way to work. That's a nice color right there. It's a bright grassy green, so that's good. And then what did I miss? Nothing. I missed nothing. Okay, so if we were going to add some of this coral to this green, let's see what happens there. That's a nice violet as well. That's a nice violet as well. So the coral mixing with, let's try something else. That's a lighter value of that. Let me just add a little bit and just just going to put it down there. Yeah, this all works pretty nicely together. I'm pulling out a brown now, and I know a lot of people are afraid of making mud, but if you um, do it on purpose, it's not mud. <laughs> and you do need some browns in your painting. I tend to like grays better, but browns work. Okay, so now we have that. Just for fun, I should be writing these down because I wonder how that would go with one of my favorite colors, which is Viridian. I think that's going to be beautiful. You can see the colors I'm getting. The, these, are, these are great shades for any kind of landscape painting or um, floral botanical painting, that kind of thing. That's real nice. So let's write this down so I don't forget. I'm thinking that since I don't have a lot of dark values on this in this particular triad, I'm thinking of adding in some... I wonder how Moonglow would look. Let's try it. Everybody loves moon glow, right? That moon glow, it turns it turns a purple. It is not a uh, Primatec color. Let me give you the... It's got a series of colors. Go ahead, it's right here if you want to take a screenshot of that. Um, it has a purplish hue to it, and it, it is pretty dark. You can actually see that spreading out in the red. 
rag and go back in there with some of the turquoise, see what happens there. Yeah, I think that's nice. Let me get see if I can get a little bit more uh, darker color. I also want to try it with, um, I could try it with, what's that called? Payne's Gray. That's actually pretty beautiful right there. And I also would like to try it with, let me just try it with Paraline. That's the turquoise. Rush out. Man, I love the way that moon glows and the turquoise are working together. But hurry, put I'm always losing my place. I hope this video works out okay. I'm. It, it, we're just coming into the hot season, and this is the perylene, by the way. Let's put that in. And <clears throat> that means that. Uh, I have a huge air conditioner in the studio because I'm on the third floor of my house and it, that's nice. Uh, now that might be one I would want to, both of these um, might be one you'd want to mix on a palette together so that you could get a deeper color, but I am really loving this. So let me remember what that was. This is Perylene. Green, and this is Moon Glow, and yeah, I think I'd be real happy with um, a uh, Payne's Gray. So that's just right. I didn't like that. Oh, that's just the Sleeping Beauty. <clears throat> All right, so let's go into that Payne's Gray. Love Payne's Gray. You know, again, I think you have to really make careful decisions when you're buying paints. And that's part of the reason why I'm doing this series is I'd like to be able to help you with with this. My phone's going on again. Siri apparently is listening to me. Again, it gives me the creeps. To tell you the truth yeah that's going to be a nice dark and a nice dark that will relate and the, the the idea here with the primary triad other than red yellow and blue is that you can mix more colors with it and um, they will all relate to each other within within the painting so that's that's the idea here I mean you could do primaries and secondaries as well you could do that it just try, just play with, play with your colors. I'll put this up on the blog, this picture, and um, link down below the colors I used today. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff if you feel like liking and subscribing and commenting. See you soon.